loud, huh? So are you gonna talk? Um, I'd like you to start. Approximately 20 years ago, I lived in this apartment above the bar, and in the middle of the night, the toilet seat lid would always come down, like 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, with no one even in the bathroom. Is someone here that remembers that happening? Can you somehow give me a sign that you're here? I hear like strong wind, strong motion, strong. Is it the cars going by? No? Okay. What does that um, wind and stuff mean to you? Because it's making you emotional. What does that mean? I get goosebumps because I felt like it's something, somebody's. I felt like something spiritual, something is, maybe spiritual is the wrong word, but I felt like, can you listen? Yeah, I can listen. Let's give them a goosebumps. When I was here approximately 20 years ago, like I said, the toilet seat used to always come down in the middle of the night. Me and my husband used to tease each other. He's since passed away. We used to tease each other and say, oh, what's the ghost in the bathroom? and it would fall down. And I would wake him up and we'd laugh and joke and we weren't really scared, but we'd make fun of it. Is someone here that had something to do with that happening all the time? There's someone here that knows what I was referring to at that time a long time ago. For some reason, I know it was a toilet seat coming down, but we used to kid each other because I felt it was a woman. I didn't feel like it was a child. I didn't feel like it was a man. I felt like it was a woman. Mark 24, 46. Is there a woman here that remembers me being here? There was a clawfoot bathtub where this wall was. There wasn't a wall. That was the same medicine cabinet that was in the room back then. It's probably the same sink. Is anybody here that can remember me? I remember those pipes being exposed. We had a big this, clawfoot bathtub. Does this bell there's a spike in the thermal reading? Right above the toilet. Toilet seat would always come down in the middle of the night. For whatever reason, whatever the person was trying to tell me, the toilet seat would always slam down. It wasn't easy, it would slam down. Strong enough to wake you up in the middle of the night. My room was right next door. Does anyone here remember that? Did someone in here do that? I lived here at the time with Jerry and my little boy, Eric. Does someone remember us? This is Bill, it's still there. Is there a way you can show me that you're here? I'm back here again. Can you show me that you're here?
Since there isn't a toilet lid on here anymore, what if I take one of these and I'll set it up here on the toilet? And maybe you can knock that down. Did anybody else hear a voice from downstairs? Yeah, it's from downstairs. Mrs. Bell, there's still a presence there. Is it in? Yes. why you wanted the lid down? Was this, was this your spot where you could be by yourself? Are you a woman? I always felt you were a woman. Are you a woman? I was very young then. Do you remember me? Strange things happened all the time, but I wasn't scared. Do you remember? All right, I'm going to take these off, and we're going to try a spirit box session. Did you hold that? Thank you. So, have you seen one of these before? No. Yeah. You did. So. You guys are <laughs> it's uh, essentially a radio that scans through <coughs> all the stations um, at a super fast frequency. So the theory behind it is that um, spirit can use that energy in the white noise to pick out a word from whatever's happening and communicate. Okay. So we're going to try this. Carmen? Yes. Do you want me to ask you questions since I'm not here and I won't be in there? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. All right, you can have the headphones on this. Then I'm going to stand on this side. So this is where it gets kind of fun because once I get the headphones on, all I'll be able to hear is the static of the stations going. And she's going to ask questions. I can't hear them. And whatever I hear, I'll say. So we'll see how that goes. Is there a female in the bathroom? I did it. What did you do? Please come out. Where do you want me to come out from? The door. I came out of the door. Don't are, bother. Are you the one putting the toilet seat down?
Were you the one that put the toilet seat down in the middle of the night? Maybe. Are you a female? I'm a lady. Do you remember who lived here? It was long. Do you remember the lady that was lived here with the little boy and her husband? Of course. Is she here now? I can see her. Do you see what color shirt she has on? I think. What color do you think she's wearing? Yellow. Do you know what color her hair is? Her eyes. What color are her eyes? Blue. Do you remember the little boy that was here? Do you remember he the lived here? Do you remember what he looked like? What color hair did the little boy have? Brown. Do you remember what color eyes he had? Green. Switch it. What's your favorite sport? Me, my lighter. How what long? season is it? Happy birthday. Is it your birthday? Definitely. The 5th? Was it the 5th of August? Remember. Thursday. What color are the walls in the hallway? Hot chocolate. I'm playing. What's on the door to the one bedroom? Blue. Can you move around? Exactly. Where can you move? Head on out. Can you tell me your name? Don't forget. Did you live here? The walls. I'm freezing. What season is it? Summer. What kind of vegetables do they have in the summertime in this area?
tomatoes. Did you grow tomatoes? We did. What else did you grow? Cabbage. Do you like cabbage? Mom. Are you a mom? You got it. You got it. Is your son the one that likes to move the toys in the bedroom? Yep. What's his name? Can you tell me your son's name? Chicken. Can you tell me your name? Boy. Are you a female now? Houston. Crunch. 35. Are you from this area? Does anyone else you want to ask? You probably did. Does anyone else want to ask questions? You want to step outside and ask questions? And I'm going to let you guys all like put those headphones on so you can see it. She can't hear it because those are pretty good answers. <clears throat> Can you tell us what year you were born? I'm currently working. How long, Michael? Did you Someone. Is that your son? It don't matter. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Brian. Is your name you Brian? Got that? <laughs> Buenos tardes. <laughs> How many people are in here? John. How many people are in here right David? now? Okay, I'm taking a break because there's way a too, lot of them trying to get too to you. many, too many, too many. Anybody okay. else want to try it? Okay. It's, okay. It's just what you do is just blurt out any word that you hear. Okay. Yep. And like I said, you'll see that she can't hear, or that you won't be able to hear anything that they're asking. And if you can hear them, raise your hand because we yeah. don't want you to I hear press the questions. Them on. How many people are in here? Do you guys only like Carmen? That's not fair. Laughing. Are you laughing at me? Twenty. That sounded like about twenty in here. You're the best. Hold on. Ladies out in the hallway, keep keep asking them. Go. I'm too close. Hold on. Can you tell us your name? Hold. Four.
you. Color. Do you know what city this is? Or what town? Under nine. Baby. Please. Did you live here? Every day. Did you work here? Hold on. I being free. Do you know Debbie? The money has hurts. Are you related to Debbie? Please. Go so fast that it's hard to catch the words in between. Yeah. Some of them sound you, Spanish. You and actually there did was really well. There was a lot of Spanish. You did really well because sometimes it is hard to hear them. Yeah, you gotta really pay there. attention and yeah. focus yeah. on the words quick. because they go so quickly. Were you getting images on there when you were? I was playing? actually right, um, sorry, right, right here. On the wall or uh, just in the? It was out just, front of it. It was kind of scattered right in this area, yeah. but going wall kind of back. It was. It was. Does that actually give temperature readings on? Yes, in the corner it should say the temperature. I didn't, I didn't know how high it was or how different it was. Crawling. I see you. Can you see how many people are standing in the doorway? I can be sure. For sure. Did you live here? Me. Jeff whispering. Yeah, both like things. That's dumb. What's your name? I don't know. You like Officially. Play, do you like to play games? Why don't you want to tell us your name? Cake. What color is the room we're in? August. Are you in here with us or outside in the hallway? Cut up. Jeffian. Sorry. Do you want us to go? The dragon. We have to go downstairs in a couple of minutes. We're going to be done up here. When the next group comes up here, what word should we have? He was also at the event. I know, he's downstairs. What word? Actually let's, actually, let's pick a word and leave it up here. Okay. So starting in session two, if anybody catches this word on EVP, 
the thing is they'll have to analyze it so we'll have to make sure well Dan would be the one analyzing it because it's their recorder so let's all I'm not going to pick it but you guys pick a word that you want whatever's in here to say to the next group for me it was very very clear the dragon and he was at the event which is where it was today I heard it, that. I never there. wear yellow. I had yellow on earlier when I came today. Yeah, that's A bright true. yellow shirt. But the My son's eyes. birthday is the 4th. His name's Eric. He's got brown hair, green eyes. Did what oh, he was What color are your eyes? Green. Okay. But it told me to walk out the door. Mm. So I was in the drain and asked me to walk out the door. Let's let's all go stand out in the middle for a second. Yeah. Plus two, I think. Carmen, I want you to listen to it, but we might have had a voice on that three minute thing again. I want you to hear it. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I just wanna I just wanna get on film, so um I'll I'll start with each of you and ask, so what did we just do and what what are your thoughts on the experiment that we just did? I'll start with you. Um it was really exciting. I had goosebumps. I um, I felt something real. It. I do have green eyes. My son has brown hair, green eyes. His name's Eric. He was the toddler that lived here. Um, his birthday is coming September 4th, not 5th, and I believe it falls on a maybe a Thursday. I'm not sure, but um, just a couple of things that they said. I was feeling like some type of crazy connection. And when the ball were moved in the bedroom, when nobody was paying attention, I felt like that's when strange things happen. Not when you sit and wait for them. It's like unexpectedly. That's when things took place. Like if I went to bed and waited for the toilet seat to fall down, it would, we could wait all day for this. But when you're, when you're not thinking about it, that's when the toilet seat would fall down. So when you personally have the headphones on, listening to the spirit box, which is what we were doing, and you could not hear the no, questions that were being asked. I couldn't hear anything. Absolutely not. I don't know how crazy my answers were because those are just the things right. that I could hear yep. from Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Right. And, and to tell you that a lot of things that you did say were relevant and answering the questions. So that was a pretty good... Carmen, you've probably talked about this 150 times. But um, so why did you take the headphones off? Um, because it was too many different voices. So you had in. quite a few spirits trying to yeah, communicate with you. Yeah, I mean, them. speaking Spanish, um, giving me names, and like they were like cutting each other off, and it was just too much for me tonight. Um, what were you on AM and or FM scanning frontwards or backwards, I and was, how how quick was that moving? I was on FM scanning. I think at the three or four. I think it was on four. Okay. And was it going forwards or backwards? Forward. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you one more thing. Crap. So you feel, I mean, you're, you're more sensitive. Do you feel that there were a lot of things in there that were definitely coming at you? Yes. Okay. Do you think, this, uh, you know, one of the questions I've always had, is it like, they know you're here and this is an opportunity for them to talk. So yes. they're coming out of the woodwork, yeah. passing through. Is there a portal here? Um, if it's a portal but I think definitely um, the word is out there is probably a good percentage of all of us that can pick this up so we have just created like this huge light for everyone that's in this area be like hey my name is David John whatever you know like they want to be heard because they know that each of us has the ability to hear it because you two, you two are sensitive as well, correct? Is that, and you guys have been here before? Yes. Oh, twice? Okay. I've been here, this is actually my fourth time. Yeah. Okay. And again, you had the headphones on and you didn't hear. It was a lot. It mm -hmm. was a lot of the cameras. It was so much, so much. What I heard very clearly was dragon, which false assumption or not, dragon flies. Mm -hmm. And he was at the event also. Um, I heard that very, very clearly, uh, which is where I was today. I was at a marketing event for work. Um, when we were in the room, Melissa was talking, 
there was definitely some activity I felt and was sensitive to, but also um, on the uh, thermal reader was reacting to that as well. Was Debbie, when Debbie was speaking as well as when I felt also. Mm -hmm. um, and again, like I, I don't think it's a it's 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 a portal. It, it, to me, it feels like an opportunity um, for them. Like you said, I'm, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm probably the least sensitive in this room. And I think, you know, you kind of found out earlier today, or not found out, but it sounds like you were able to talk for the, like, without feeling like you're crazy that you're sensitive to things. Right. It's, mm -hmm. That's the conversation it sounds like. Right. And yourself. she made me really open up because when she was talk, speaking to me saying, hey, I can do the same thing. The same thing happens to me. I have the same experiences. I felt like a connection, like, wow, you're the first one. I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> See, it's cool when you come across. It is. Like it's very cool. So, and, you know, that it's like, quite you've got a, the whole reason why I came here today. That could be, that could be why I'm here. <laughs> you've got five of you that are pretty sensitive, it sounds like, and that's could be a reason why. Because that's the most active spirit box thing. <laughs> well, they were hearing footsteps upstairs, and I heard them on the microphone saying, it's Uncle Jeff walking up there. So, <laughs> it, it felt like there was so much going on that they were just like, Pushing each other, yeah. each other out of the way. Mm -hmm. like, I want to go. I want to go. Mm -hmm. I want to go. I want to go. Yeah, that's the um, feeling I had too. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. we gotta go switch. Yep. I just had to get that on.